just want to come and love on you guys and and talk to you just for a few minutes. I'm not going to be long. I have been in bed, um, not feeling good pretty much the whole entire day today. And um, got up hours ago to get ready, get my makeup on, get ready to try to hopefully make it to choir practice in time to be able to um, be a part of the Christmas celebration tonight. But that just wasn't going to happen. So praise God for the word that we are the healed of the Lord and that when we do walk through the valley of the shadow of death, we will get through it. We will get stronger and our immune system will get stronger. So anyway, I just wanted to, as I reflect on this time of why we celebrate this season and the birth of Jesus, I'm so thankful that no matter what any of us face or go through or news that will come our way or whatever, that just like that Mandisa song says, I know my Redeemer lives. Because He lives, I can face tomorrow. And because He lives, we can go through this world with hope. We can, it doesn't matter if you're struggling with an addiction that you feel like you can't get free from. Jesus is your deliverer. If you feel like you're you're fighting an infirmity that you're never going to get free from, Jesus took the stripes upon His back for our healing. And He said that by His stripes we are healed. So we can claim that scripture. We are in this world, but we are not of this world as believers. And as we pass through this world, yes, sometimes infirmities and sickness do try to touch us, but they can't stay on us. So I praise God for that. And I just want to testify just to the faithfulness to how good and faithful and loving that our Father is. That He is so merciful. And I, if we all just stop and, and reflect of... So many prayers that God answered when we prayed, and even the prayers He didn't answer, or in the way we asked Him to answer those. Praise God for that. I am so thankful for the provision, for the favor, the blessings. I am so thankful for the doors that He opens, the doors that He closes. I'm so thankful that no matter what we face or go through, we can have joy in the midst of our situation and our circumstances, and I'm so grateful for that. I'm so thankful that... We live in the land of the of the free, home of the brave. I'm so thankful for that. I'm so thankful that we can we can get up and we can get in our cars and we can go to the store and we have a, a, an abundance that we can get things, the food we need, the, the clothes on our back. We have a roof over our head. You know, we woke up in our sound mind. Oh, thank you, Jesus. We I know who I am. I can feed myself, I can bathe myself, I can dress myself. All these things that we have to be thankful for. I just love the Lord so much and I just pray that we shouldn't just be nicer around this season or we shouldn't just do things to be more of a blessing to someone around this season. You guys, we should live this way all year round. What if we really lived to give? What if we really live to love people? What if we really live to be an ear for someone? What if we really, really live to, to just be silent and listen to the hurt and the cries of other people? What if we stepped out of our comfort zone and extended grace and mercy to people that really don't need it? What if we just try to understood people more in this season? And from this point on in life, what if we were there for the least of these? I mean, what if we lived a life like this? Because you hear so many stories, um, especially during this time on different radio stations that, oh, someone went and paid off someone's layaway bill, which praise God, that's, that's awesome. Um, or you hear people doing other nice gestures and things. But what if we just live like that all the time? That's what I want to be. That's what I strive to be. I want to live like that. I want to be more like Jesus every day. I want to love more like Jesus every day. I want to continue to be more sensitive to his spirit, more obedient to his, to his voice. You know, if he, just like I spoke, I believe it was um, yesterday in the video that I made, or no, I'm sorry, it was uh, Friday when I had errands to run, and, and I walked by a woman, and the Holy Spirit very... Um, so, so quietly. And you guys, he has a still small voice. And that's why we have to be so in tune to him and his spirit and his word and praying that, that the heartbeat of him 
we hear it, we feel it. So when he speaks to our heart, we're so quick to respond. And like I said, when I walked by this woman, he spoke to my heart so very softly to tell her something. <clears throat> and honestly, I still was not feeling good at all. Um, and, and my first thought was, oh, Lord, you know, I mean, that's just being completely honest. I really did not feel like it. But in that moment, it's like he just, he, he said, are you going to obey me or not? And, and I was so upset, honestly, I'll be completely honest that I, I was so upset at myself that I even sat there and even questioned, was I going to be honest or, or not honest, but was I going to really even be obedient? So I immediately turned back around. I put my purse in the car because there was a little bit of a distance. I put my purse in the car because I was right by my car. And I went back over there. She was got up from the bench and was actually walking. And I it looked like she was about to get into a car because a car had pulled up. And in my heart, I thought, oh, God, please, Jesus, don't let her leave. I will have been disobedient. Please, God, give me grace. Praise the Lord she did not get in that car. And she came walking towards me, and I just stopped. I said, ma'am, um, I said, when I walked by you, I said, the Holy Spirit spoke to my heart I, and I was supposed to tell you this. And I told her, I said, your life has value and purpose and Jesus loves you. Now, <clears throat> I don't know in that moment what the state of her mind was contemplating. I mean, I can guess, I can just guess for certain reasons, but you guys, I, I was so thankful that I delivered that to her because as she... I told her that, you know, her, her demeanor, she just, she was like, thank you. And, you know, she got tears in her eyes and I, I, I just, I gave her a hug. I'm a hugger and I gave her a hug and I said, Jesus loves you. And I turned around and walked away because he didn't tell me anything else to say. He didn't tell me anything else to do. So I turned around and walked away. And as I got in my car and drove off, I could see her looking at me. And I just prayed for her that she would feel the love of God, that God would bless her and minister to her. And you guys, I just, I pray that we're all challenged to be more like Jesus. That we're all challenged to have a more thankful attitude to be grateful. You guys, we don't have to, it says in everything, give thanks. That doesn't mean for everything, give thanks. God, I thank you for cancer. That's stupid because God didn't give us cancer. He did not give us, you know, AIDS and he did not give us, you know, diabetes and all these horrible things that are on this, this earth. He did not give us those things. Okay. But we can, in the midst of whatever we're all going through, you know, I can testify both hands. I can lift my legs up and, and testify and say, hey, hey, my hands and feet are in it. I'm going through things. But you know what, guys? Through all that, through this huge time of transition in my life and so many things that I, I can't speak of right now, I will, I will say, God, I still thank you. I thank you. And you're faithful and you're good and you're just and you're loving and you're sovereign. And I thank you that you're here with me and you're here for me. So in everything, give thanks. When your heart's broken, I know what that's like. When you're lonely, I know what that's like. When you're overwhelmed, I know what that's like. When you're frustrated, I know what that's like. I know what it's like to feel rejected. I know what that's like to feel forgotten about. I know what that's like. But even more than that, Jesus knows what that's like. He's near to the brokenhearted. So I just pray for each and every person out there tonight. I just, Lord, I just lift up each and every precious person tonight. Lord, that's listening to this under the sound of my voice. God, you know who is watching this. Whether they click, they like it, or they share it. God, you see every person that is hearing this. Jesus, touch them. Love them. Hold them. Minister to them. I take authority over the spirit of infirmity that's tried to touch so many of our bodies. And I loose your healing virtue to flow through us from the top of our head to the soles of our feet. And Lord, I thank you for healing virtue flowing, touching us, Lord, and, and bringing forth healing quickly. Lord, I pray for those that are grieving, grieving mothers, grieving fathers. God, touch their hearts tonight. Lord, touch those, God, that are, that nothing in their life makes sense. Lord, you are the Prince of Peace, and I just pray peace over them. God, I just pray you'll, Lord, go to those that are lonely and that are desiring a spouse. 
I just pray and I speak to whoever you might be that you are desiring a spouse. Oh, I just speak to you right now in Jesus' name. I pray that you would love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your soul, all your mind, and all your strength, and prepare yourself before God as you're waiting for a spouse. So, Father, I just thank you and I praise you for each and every person, God, under the sound of my voice. You would pour your love, your perfect love, cast out all fear. Fear has no place. You said you did not give us a spirit of fear, but power, love, and a sound mind. In Jesus' name. So, just know that whatever your needs are, whatever you're going through, whatever things are coming against you, that Jesus is the answer. He said he is the way, he is the truth, he is the life, and he is enough. He is more than enough. He is Jehovah Jireh, our provider. He is Abba Father. He's our daddy. So whatever you have need of, just go to him. I love you and God loves you and be blessed.